guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. Before we get started, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Make sure you hit that notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a challenge and this challenge is called the Slow Cooker Challenge. This challenge is also being co-hosted by Kenya's Decor Corner and Mrs. V. They each have wonderful channels here on YouTube and I will link their channels in the description box below. I will also leave a link to all the other participants in this challenge as well as my recipe from today's video. After you finish watching my video, take a look at the playlist and check out the videos of the other participants in this challenge. I can't wait to see the other videos. I'm looking forward to some really yummy meals. Now the requirements of this challenge is that we create a meal. Create a meal using a slow cooker or a pressure cooker or a steamer pot or whatever kitchen appliance you have available to you. And then list the recipe in the description box below. So let's get started. I'm going to cut a few potatoes in half. These are the um, baby red tomatoes. I'm going to slice some of those in half. I'm going to keep all my ingredients about the same size. That way it doesn't take so long to cook. My recipe is kind of like a mixture of a lot of different recipes, some that's been handed down in the family, some that came from Food Network, some that came from even Betty Crocker, several different recipes. So I took and put several different recipes together to create my own. Now I'll chop up some celery. I'm just cutting them on an angle a little bit because it um, it's just prettier. It's a little more pleasing to the eye. I'm even using the um, I'm even using the tops. And then I'm gonna take an onion. Now I'm going to leave this part of the onion on. I'm not going to take this end off because it's going to help to keep the onion together. Two lemons and cut them in half. Make sure you seed the lemons as you squeeze them into the slow cooker because you don't want seeds in your crab boil. Five cups of water with a little chicken stock.
one dark beer. Three bay leaves. Three bay leaves. One, two, and Garlic head. Squeezing my lemon right side up. Try to keep squeezing my lemons and try to catch as many of the seeds as I can. Just a little bit. Now this is gonna cook for about four hours, and then I'll come back and I'll add the seafood and the sausage, and it'll be and that's gonna cook about another 45 minutes. Not even 45 minutes because I cut my pieces small, so that'll cook about another 30 or 40 minutes when I add the seafood and sausage, and that's it. And I'll see you in four hours. do a generous amount of Old Bay. I like Old Bay on my um, on my seafood. And now this will cook for another 30, 45 minutes. And it'll be time to eat. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. 
This turned out fantastic. I decided I'd be the test taster to see how it came out. And it really came out well. I'm really proud. I did a really good job. Don't forget, guys, the recipe is in the description box. Give it a try. It's a little work, but it is well worth it. It turned out really good. And, um, yeah, time to eat. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I truly enjoyed making my slow cooker low country boil. Thank you, Kenya and Mrs. V, for including me in your slow cooker challenge. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, hit the subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos, and I upload new videos every week. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm hungry, and it is time to throw down. And on that note, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!